Today we're going to talk about using long length isometrics uh, as a kind of fast hack, if you want to call it that, for improving outcomes. So whenever we talk about isometric exercise, this is an isometric strap, it's just a, like a luggage strap with handles. Uh, isometric exercise basically means I'm contracting my bicep, but no movement is occurring. And isometrics are one of our very favorite strength tools because of the research. In general, they are safer because our brain is not required to coordinate a lot of movement, which means we can create a huge amount of tension, we can increase strength while doing it very safely. They're also one of the only strength training tools that have significant research around them in relationship to pain relief. So if I have someone that's got a painful knee or painful arm, I usually will begin, have, I will usually begin strength training with them using isometrics. Now, the issue that we run into is if I'm working on my bicep, where should I do the isometric? Should I do it at full length? Should I do it in the middle? Or should I do it close to full contraction? Well, there's some cool new research over the last year or so that indicates that if we want to have the greatest carryover to real life, to sports performance, to explosive movement, etc., there tends to be a better result whenever we do long length isometrics. So right now I have my, my isometric strap really um, low so that I'm in almost a fully lengthened bicep position and then I could do my isometric contractions from here. So our suggestion for you is if you want to maximize your return on investment for isometric work, think about what length uh, or what position can I get into that would create the longest muscle length and then do your isometric work there. Traditionally with isometrics, we recommend somewhere between a five and 10 second hold. Uh, whenever we used to teach this, we would say, well, we're gonna do five sets of a six second hold in this position. And then we're gonna go to the mid position and do another five. And then we're gonna go to this position and do another five. So you wind up doing 15 uh, sets in that old school tradition. What we're finding is that if I work in this long length, I can do five sets to six sets of six seconds and get a really, really fantastic benefit from it. So I wanted to make sure you are aware of this kind of current approach. Uh, we've been using it and testing it for some time and have found it to be hugely effective. Give it a shot and let us know what you think.